What's up guys, ActiClegumin here, bringing you my first tutorial, gonna be about Cinema 4D. You just saw this little preview I gave you, it was the ground track effect thingy I just used in my uh, recruitment video for Arctic Empire. I think it's such a sick effect. But before we start, I just want to say that you're gonna be needing a plugin called Thrasy. Thrasy is a plugin made by Nitro Man. I think it's such a sick plugin. You can do lots and lots of things with it. So, sick work, bro, on that plugin. And yeah, you basically you're gonna need this plugin. If you don't have it, go to his website, just Google Throsy and it's a free plugin here, so you don't have to worry, just get it and yeah, so let's get this started. Simply first off you wanna go to your render settings and change this to whatever you like, like twelve eighty by seven twenty. Gonna stick with this and change the frame rate to sixty. I can only choose 60 in my Cinema for the R12, I don't know why. I type in 59.94, uh, it always changes to 60. And we want to change this to all frames. All frames. So, basically it. Now, let's get done with this tutorial. Simply hold Alt and left mouse button to center this up. Just gonna do it barely. Ah, this is looking good. Then you want to go to your light icon. Hold F mouse button, go to background. So then we have our background, but it has no texture on it. So you want to go to here to new material, data, new material, double click the material, and just go to color, click these three little dots, and now you can import a texture. So I will be using a screenshot of the map Arcaden, just you saw in my intro my preview. You want to click no on this one. We don't want to have this. Uh, it may, maybe your Cinema 4D can froze if you click yes on that simply message and you want to uncheck specular. So we got ourselves our texture, our little screenshot. Just hold left mouse button and drag it onto our background. Then go to this little cube icon, hold left mouse button and choose a cube. Now we want to mess a little bit with the settings right here. Just gonna do for X, I'm gonna go with 800. Also the Z, I want to go with 800 as well. And for Y, I'm going to choose 20. Drag it a little bit down so we can have this as our floor. And if we render this out, we see meh, it doesn't look too good. Simply drag the texture you just used for your background, drag it onto your cube. And then you want to go to your texture, just click, click your texture right here. Go to your texture text. And you want to change the mapping from to, to, to frontal. This is already looking pretty good, but still we have this ugly shadow going on to to fix that, simply right click, uh, right click your cube, go to Cinema for Tags, and you want to go to Settings. Settings. Where are my settings? There. Obviously, I have the German version of Cinema for D. That's why uh, this is looking a little bit weird. But anyways, just go to your settings, change these two, uncheck self shadowing and compositing background. You want to click compositing background background and if we render this out we see our cube just disappeared. This is exactly the effect we're going for. Simply create a text, mo graph, mo text. Not going to make this looking that good. I just simply go with tutorial. Increase the depth to about 60. Some fillet caps on this put this to 3, 6, 3 and 6. This is looking good. Just barely center this. Um, we want to choose a font, a font as well. I'm going to choose Perfect Dark. Pretty cool font. You should definitely get it. Looks like this. Oh, this text is a little huge. Just go to this little tool. It's the scale tool. Hold your left mouse button and drag it 
down, drag your mouse down, and then it will be a little smaller, so we can actually use this. Again, perfect dark, pretty cool font, definitely should get it. Just go to thefont.com, Google it, and just type in perfect dark something. It's I call it perfect dark, but you will find the font. It's pretty thick. So, uh, now we have our basic scene set up, and this is where the magic happens. Go to your cube, highlight it, go to plugins, Throssy, and you want to increase the pieces to about 200 because I think if you choose less pieces, it just looks shit. Random seed, blah blah blah, everything on default. Then you want to go to the dynamics tag and change the mode to on collision. What this will do is if an object like our text will hit the ground, it will simply fall apart and crack into these pieces we were just creating with Throssy. And yeah, if this is done, Throssy has done its work, just simply close it, we don't need this anymore. And oh, I forgot to get a little, anyways, I've actually, ah, I'm going to make a simple texture for my text. Just go again to data, new material, double click the material. I said double click the material. And uncheck specular again. Just gonna choose, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe something like pretty light blue. I, I like light blue colors. This is looking good. Just gonna make it a little bit glossy, 50%. Drag the texture again, hold left mouse button, drag it onto your text, let go, and we have our text thingy going on something. Anyways, now you wanna drag up your text as high as you can. And go to your text again, highlight it right click cinema of details and uh, what am i talking uh, you want to go to the dynamic tags and choose dynamics buddy so what this will do comes down boom cracks the ground pretty sick and what i just noticed is that if you render this out you still have this shit but to change that we obviously want to right click Cinema for Tags. Again, go to your settings and just change this. Self shadowing, uncheck, check compositing background, and this will get rid of this ugly shadow you just saw. I don't know if I forget it. Ah, it yeah, it look it looks pretty nice. I think looks pretty good. Yeah, and this is basically it. Just another quick tip. I just saw this. Um, if you have these, you know, these ugly, white, inside edgy thingies, it's just the material that Throssy created. It will always be this white, fucking ugly color. You just want to create another new material. Uh, you can basically do two things. First, uh, uncheck specular, then you can do two things. You go to texture and load an extra uh, an texture of maybe a rock or something you just created. Simply load a texture and uh, do your texture thingy or just like I do I create, I don't know, maybe like light grayish color maybe also get this some gloss 20% 25% actually uh, 15 this is looking good just not too much otherwise it will just look fake you know just get a texture and drag it onto the cube I wouldn't recommend that you uh, use this glossy effect then just simply Highlight your texture, hold Alt left mouse button and drag it just across this throssy texture, just drag it on top and it will automatically replace this ugly light grey or white color throssy head and simply will replace it with the image or the texture you created 
or just load it from your background. So this is basically it. I hope you could learn a little bit. You know, you obviously want to uh, twix the, this part out. You know, when it hits the ground, move like three or four frames forward and then stop the animation. You just go to your render settings again and you want to choose from zero to run about 27. Just render that out, frame rate 60. And you obviously want to twix it out a little bit. Otherwise, if you just render this whole project, it will just look shit. Because as you can see, if I render this out, it just lo doesn't look too good. So I would recommend like frame 27 to 30, something about like this. Render it out, twix it, and it will just look awesome. So anyways guys, I hope I could help you a little bit with this cool actually ground crack effect. And yeah, I hope you have a great day and see you.